Þetta er nefnum þetta einhvern veginn sambúr, þetta Þetta er marralar Nagu Þetta er prodig nagu Þetta er hún Matunda En boga Ok Þannig So I'm now in my my small project for, for swales and to plant trees um, and I wanted to show you what I'm planting and, and, and uh, discuss a bit about the trees and why I decided to plant these trees and um, I have a bunch of, of, of seeds and all these seeds I'm planting them direct so the selective ones are trees that can grow quite well as a starting tree. It can grow quite well um, can grow quite well in the area. Uh, most of them are nitrogen fixers uh, and they don't need a lot of nutrition in the soil uh, compared to fruit trees compared to other other important trees that I will plant but I will plant in a later stage. So, one of the species that I've selected is Sespania sespan and, and it's found, um, it's found, I found it uh, quite a lot in Uganda um, and there are some farmers who have it here in Kenya and I've, I found the tree, the specific one I found in Nakuru and I've collected the seeds um, and it has a lot of small seeds it is the green seeds that uh, will will uh, will do well, and uh, no preparation is needed. So it's just to sow or spread it. Uh, and uh, uh, I did uh, spread around, and I did sow. But I come to see uh, putting it down in the soil is something that I will continue with because it will protect the seeds more from birds and, and other things. Um, another very interesting tree that I've selected uh, is, is a kind of acacia that grows a lot in, in uh, Kikuyu land. I call it Kikuyu acacia. Um, Uh, so it's called Acacia meanis and it's an acacia without thorns. It's an acacia that grows very quick and uh, can grow quite big. Uh, and I bought these seeds uh, from Kefri in, in Nairobi. So there are several trees and then we have uh, Caliandra. It's a very very interesting tree. Uh, it's a nitrogen fixer. It doesn't grow big. It grows like maybe three four meters high and it has very nice flowers and it's uh, actually it's the most beautiful nitrogen fixing starting trees that I have I also bought this one it's a bit uh, more expensive than the others but uh, I bought it for 300 shillings per 100 gram and uh, the other one the Acacia Meannis that one is just a hundred shillings per 100 gram which is affordable. Then, then uh, we have uh, I have a Leucania species that I have collected in Nakuru. It's also very nice, and it will grow very easily just from from the rainfall. I have another species. Uh, maybe I will not discuss it too much now, but it has uh, um, has some yellow, yellow flowers. It's also a nitrogen fixer, um, and uh, actually, I'll not discuss it because I've forgotten. But another important one <laughs> is Macahemia lutea. So this one grows to be a tall tree if if you let it. Um, it's an important tree traditionally, but it's not found in this area, so I hope it will grow well. 
and I believe so. Uh, it's a very interesting tree to to plant around the compound. I'll also plant it along my swells, and it has uh, quite big uh, leaves. Um, and uh, it's an interesting tree. It's a nitrogen fixer. It uh, has some timber that you can carve. It's used traditionally for samburus now to carve uh, these calabashes um, for for putting milk or putting alcohol. So those are the nitrogen fixing trees that I've selected. I've, I bought Acacia lutea. I bought it in 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 uh, Kefri, but it's it's quite easy to find those trees and to collect those those uh, seeds. Then uh, all around there is a in in Maralal there is a, a lot of acacia trees. So I've collected those seeds and I will grow them along the fence yes for some time to increase now the the, the support of, of the fence function and <laughs> not to let animals inside and those things um, and uh, acacia seeds and now move for more interesting things there are actually some some productive trees that I have selected that that um, can grow and can grow quite well even uh, even right now and even without without much uh, much interference without much um, support and uh, this uh, this one uh, this one is moringa and uh, it's a very interesting tree and the seeds are very herbal the the leaves are very herbal uh, so it can be, be grown, for me it will be grown for, for its medicinal purpose, but also it benefits the farm. Uh, it is something, it's a tree, maybe it's not nitrogen fixer, but it helps, queso patoli, but it helps uh, other trees to grow faster. So I like that. And another fruit that I have, uh, now this one is mixed, uh, some seeds. Another fruit I have is popo. It's also a very good tree that I can plant the seeds and see. Um, actually, I will test now if, if it will really, if it will do well. <laughs> but I, I hope it will do well uh, and grow well. And inside is also some watermelon um, that I found. Uh, and uh, I'll, I don't think the watermelon will do well. Um, I don't think it will will have a produce and have a good good watermelon in this area. But I, what I want to see is if if those seeds can grow grow by themselves. Um, without uh, seed bed, without watering, and those things. Another thing that I'm planting that is not a tree, but uh, that is very beneficial, is now now pumpkin and this pumpkin I'm planting along along the swales and uh, if it grows my plan is for it to grow and take space in in the middle of this between the swales now um, here uh, the only thing that I will grow is, is this pumpkin now um, Then, then now to, to stabilize these swales so that they will not be damaged because now when it rains uh, there is some risk that water will will wish to to destroy the swales. Um, so we need something to stabilize uh, the top of the swales. So I'm also planting some some. I would say this is uh, this is a very small bean. It's called green grams, and in Kiswahili it's called managu, and it's very common. And people like it. But prefer myself. I don't like the taste of this, but I will grow it. I will grow it for uh, my friends and other family members, um, and also I will see if it will do well. It's a more long-term uh, bean species, and uh, then I have some other beans that are yes 
the common common species that you find in Kenya. And I will also saw them. So all of this I will put now in this whale to see which one will do very well. And this one is more short term. It is uh, for, for 90 days, three months, uh, for it to be become uh, for it to grow and, and to give uh, give seeds again. And the area that I'm doing, this one is not for, is, is now yes for some small uh, production. Uh, if there's any pr produce, it will be for own consumption. So there are two kinds of this. There's one that is a bit bigger, and uh, there's another one that I will support that is more brownish and, and smaller. So this tree is the one that I bought, it's the one that are very available here. And uh, we'll see how they'll do. I hope you learned something new. Talk to you next time.